Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we will learn about JSX in React. So let's get started. JSX stands for JavaScript extension. JSX allows us to write HTML elements in JavaScript file and place them inside the DOM without any create element or append child methods. And these elements are called React elements. Although you are not required to use JSX but JSX makes it easier to create React applications. Here you can see the clear difference between the two code examples. One uses JSX and other one doesn't. So the one that uses JSX is much simpler and easier to understand than the one that doesn't uses JSX. Basically JSX is powered by Babel that React behind the scenes uses and that allows you to write JSX inside a JavaScript file. Now you can import React at the top and it will automatically manage the JSX and you could be able to write JSX in React. And also it even works if you don't use React import at the top because React adds it by default. Now let's see how to write multiple JSX elements inside React component. So if I write second element after h1, let's say I want a paragraph then it will throw an error because we can write JSX inside a parent element. So you can use a div tag around the elements or you can use a react fragment that is nothing but an empty opening and closing brackets that will fix the error. So now I can write as many elements inside as I want. Make sure that all the HTML code must be wrapped in one top level element. And if you ask me for the logic behind this, then let me tell you that a function can always return a single thing. So that's why you need to use a single element inside an app component that is also a function. And you are just returning some JSX that you are rendering inside the root div element in the index.js file. And therefore you can see the page has those elements in the browser. I hope it makes sense and you are getting the concept of how React works, the JSX and how each and everything is connected in React. Now with JSX you can also write expressions inside curly brackets. The expression can be a react variable, arithmetic expression or any other valid javascript expression. JSX will execute the expression and return the result with all the component code. Let's see some examples. So let's write an expression instead of world in the h1 element by mentioning a name variable and we need to wrap it between the curly brackets. But before that let's use a variable before the return block inside the app component that consists of my name and let's use the name variable here without quotes. Let's test that and there you can see it says hello Masood. So this was the first example. You can also write arithmetic expression inside JSX like 4 plus 4 and there you go it has printed 8. Now you can also use the attributes in JSX similarly just like you use the attributes in the HTML but with some minor changes. For example the class attribute is very much used attribute in HTML but since JSX is rendered as JavaScript and the class keyword is reserved keyword in JavaScript, you are not allowed to use it in JSX. Instead you need to use class name attribute instead of class attribute in JSX and everything else remains the same. You can give class names to your elements and you can style them in the CSS files. Now we will learn how to add styles in React in the next video. But for now let's continue with JSX. So you can use the input tags and image tags with closing at the end because with JSX you cannot create an element that doesn't get closed. So make sure to remember that. And again everything else remains same. You can provide attributes to your input elements like placeholder attribute, the name attribute etc. Moving ahead you can use conditions inside your JSX. For example let's add the condition as if name equal to Masood then true. Otherwise print false. So as the name is equal to Masood at the top therefore it shows true. If I change it to let's say Ali then it will print false. Finally you can also initialize a variable with some JSX at the top and then use the variable inside return block. And this will also work. Let's say I want to write I am JSX inside paragraph tag and let's assign it to the variable element at the top. And let's use the element variable inside return block without quotes inside curly brackets. And let's save our file and there you can see that we have I am JSX gets printed in the browser. So this was all about JSX. I hope you have learned something from this video. 
for more videos make sure to like share and subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon next to it also if you want to get all the source code of my videos and projects you can get it on patreon with as little amount as two dollars the link to my patreon page is given in the description thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in the next time